Hello, hello. We're going to be setting up the email server. Really, it's just an email setting, actually, in Commvault, right? So you should already have your email server set up, um, your IMAP or POP3 or SNM, SMTP, 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 anyway, SMTP, right. Anyway, so in my case, my server or this computer is actually an SMTP server. So I got a program called uh, InMap, no, InHMail is what it's called, actually. Show you real quick what we're talking about here. So it's called oh, it's called uh, H mail server is what it's called, right? So that's my mail server. That's how I set it up. Anyway, uh, so how do you do it, right? How do you do it? So you can either do it through command center or you can do it through the console. Let me show you both. So you go to manage, then edit. Well, manage then email servers, and then your your you know your server is SMTP server. That'd be like the IP address or whatever of your server. It's root, of course, or local host one two seven zero zero one because it's the local com serve. Anyway, um, the SMTP port is five eight seven. Sender email address is convault at happydubai dot com. Sender name is convault. I didn't do any encryption. Fine. Test mail. When that's done, I have a I have a uh, Thunderbird email client set up here. Anyway, uh, okay, so click. Okay, Gary at happydubai.com, right click, get messages. And there might have been another another email actually. Email wasn't under. Oh, it was this one here. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it was this one right here. So it sent it to the uh, help desk, right? Okay, fantastic. So it sent it to help desk at happydubai.com. And now, okay, we did it there. Now let's go to the com cell here. The Java console. So we're going to go under tool, uh, home, then control panel. Scroll down a little bit until you see like email and web server, FTP server. Like that. Same thing here. Mail server, your IP address of your mail server, the port number. I guess the mail server size limit. You can zero for unlimited. Sender's name and then the sender's uh, email address. Not doing authentication, you can if you like, and then click on test mail and then OK. And then now we see we have a we have a message from uh, Commvault and it's it's from Commvault to me. This email was sent automatically by the content store express whilst testing the settings on your account. Fantastic. So that's how you set up. That's how you really do, you know, set up the email server part, right? Not the actual part where you set up the email itself, but just how you do the setting. And the good part about this is you can do it in your lab. That's the cool part. You know, so you can test in your lab and it could be really a, a, a kind of a functional lab, if you will. Even more, you have email setting, you have all that stuff, which is nice. And then integrated, of course, with Active Directory, which you've actually already done. So how do you do that, right? Let's, you know, just to recap, you go, Security, uh, domains, and organizations. Each right click, add new domain, Active Directory. And then here, let's, you know, Happy Dubai, right? Uh, the NetBIOS name, Happy Dubai, happydubai.com. The username, in my case is administrator. And then uh, enable um, single sign on. And then uh, put the uh, credentials, push edit, and then put the username and password in. And uh, that's all you need to do. So that's good. You know, and then any user you have, you know, in the Active Directory Domain Controller, you can see here. Uh, yeah, so those, those are two kind of neat settings you can do. Uh, the email is kind of nice, right? You can play around with it. It's kind of cool. You can send uh, email. So, all right. Uh, thanks a lot, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.